Space is truly unlimited, with so many possibilities for advancements, it is truly fascinating whenever anything is discovered. You never know what small finding will lead to something big, and what big findings will be revolutionary. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at recent space discoveries. The Hungry Blob at the Edge of the Universe Astronomers have some rather fantastic and somewhat amusing names for their projects, discoveries and equipment. Whether you are giggling at the European Southern Observatory's VLT, that's Very Large Telescope, or impressed at the naming of TESS, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, there is about to be another astronomical object's name that will stick in your head. A blob. The Very Hungry Blob. Quite unlike the Very Hungry Caterpillar, was discovered in 2009, though it has been sitting in our universe for much longer. So, while the Very Hungry Blob is a great name, the real name is the Lyman Alpha Blob, and we have a lot of questions about exactly what it is. Astronomer Masami Uchi, working in the observatories of the Carnegie Institution for Science in Pasadena, California, was the lead researcher of the team who wound up spotting and pinpointing the blob. Uchi and his team believe that the blobs that have been seen are a series of small galaxies, merging together to form one larger, far bigger galaxy. This is not the only suggestion going around, however. Some have suggested that cold gas moving into the galaxy is essentially feeding it, allowing it to grow, and other astronomers have suggested that the glowing blob is a cloud of gas rising in temperature as a result of a nearby supermassive black hole. What makes this observation all the more interesting is how far it is from Earth. At the time of discovery, it was the fourth most distant object we had ever observed. This is a staggering 12.9 billion light-years away. Given how long it takes light to travel, our observations are essentially looking back in time, as by the time we are observing this blob, it will have aged a great deal and certainly will not look like this anymore. In fact, this blob is about 12.9 billion years old, bringing us right back to just after the formation of the universe, which is estimated to be between 13 billion and 14 billion years old. Uchi and the research team managed to see by looking at the infrared light that was coming from space. This is a wavelength outside of the visible light spectrum and can be described as feeling like heat. This strange blob clocks in at a diameter half the size of our own Milky Way. So if it is a larger galaxy forming, it was still small in size when we made these observations. However, scientists do not anticipate it remaining small for too long. Predictions and estimations all seem to indicate that this blob is a small galaxy having a growth spurt. It had the equivalent of 40 billion suns inside it when it was first observed, though could easily have a great deal more now, absorbing and taking in more stars as it goes. A strange blob dating back to the start of the universe is a peculiar discovery, though it goes to show just how much we are waiting to find. The 1 million new galaxies in 300 hours As we have discussed, the universe encompasses an area so large that we humans cannot even begin to comprehend that, within it, there are swarms of galaxies, each containing billions of stars which are each home to many more planets. Naturally, the sheer scale of the universe has perplexed scientists for centuries. However, with recent technological advances, we are finally able to see what this deep, dark void of mystery has to offer. In November 2020, an advanced telescope accomplished something that would have taken a normal telescope 10 years to do. Known as the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASKAP for short, the telescope made quick work of about 3 million galaxies, managing to map them out in a mere 300 hours. This record-breaking feat was hailed by the scientific community and was deemed a game-changer by David McConnell, the astronomer who had led the observations. The telescope, which is tucked away in the scorching outback of Western Australia at the Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory, capitalised on a new type of receiver that allows the telescope to take wide-field pictures in crisp detail. What this means is that instead of having to combine thousands of pictures in order to map the sky out, like the older generation of telescopes would have had to do. 
ASCAP only needs a few hundred photos, 903 to be exact, to create a detailed mapping. The fact that mappings of millions of galaxies can now be made with such ease and swiftness means that scientists are in a better position to actively monitor changes and detect cosmic phenomena. According to McConnell, this new development will lead to a greater understanding of some of the most cryptic entities in space, such as black holes and the activity of stars. These are some pretty staggering revelations, to say the least. However, it does not stop there. The amount of data that was generated during the observations was in the realm of 13.5 exabytes. You might be scratching your head at this figure, so in other words, the amount of data generated during those 300 hours was more than the entire amount stored by Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Facebook combined. But what did the final image actually look like and how was it put together? Well, due to the immensity of the data provided, a supercomputer was needed to convert all the raw data into a 2D image with the final product coming in at a more reasonable 26 terabytes but a mind-boggling 70 billion pixels. These words might sound a little bit too technical for our liking, but one thing to take from this monumental feat is that our universe is slowly becoming more accessible to scientists. Ultimately, who knows what they could find next. Supermassive Black Hole Speeding Through Space a very, very large black hole is on the move and moving at a very rapid pace at that. This supermassive black hole, which is over 3 million times heavier than our Sun, is tracking across a neighboring galaxy at the astonishing speed of 177,000 km per hour, although luckily this galaxy is over 230 million light years away. And to top it all off, the astronomers who first spotted the black hole and have been tracking its rapid movements have no idea why it is behaving the way that it has. The reason that this discovery is exceptionally shocking is because not only did scientists not know that black holes were able to move as rapidly as this one, but they had only recently theorized that they could move at all due to the incredible force required to elicit even the smallest shift. This mysteriously moving supermassive black hole was discovered as scientists began to search for moving black holes to support their theory, but they never expected to come across one as large as this one moving quite so quickly. Dominic Pesse, a researcher with the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and study leader, said that we don't expect the majority of supermassive black holes to be moving. They're usually content to just sit around. Consider how much more difficult it is to kick a bowling ball into motion than it is to kick a soccer ball, realizing that in this case the bowling ball is several million times the mass of our sun. That's going to require a pretty mighty kick. Pesse and the other researchers on the team have spent the past five years hunting for instances of moving black holes in the center of galaxies surrounding our own. But how do you measure the speed of something that you can't see? After all, black holes absorb all rays of the electromagnetic spectrum and usually must be instead identified by their effect on the objects surrounding them. In this case, Pesse and his team focused their study on black holes that had water spirals spinning inward towards them. These orbiting water spirals are known as accretion disks and produce a thin beam of radio light which can be used to measure the velocity of the black hole. Amazingly, out of the ten black holes that were measured, only the one at the center of a galaxy known as J0437 plus 2456 appeared to be moving, and it was moving at the impressive speeds previously mentioned. However, although researchers were able to successfully identify a moving black hole, they have been less successful in coming up with an answer as to why that black hole is not sitting stationary, although two theories have been generated. The first is that this supermassive black hole is the result of two black holes merging, resulting in a recoil of sorts that causes the observed movement. The second theory postulates that the black hole is one part of a paired binary system, and the other entity does not have accretion disks and is therefore going to be much harder to pin down due to its lack of radio wave emissions. Despite every expectation that they really ought to be out there in some abundance, Scientists have had a hard time identifying clear examples of binary supermassive black holes, Pesse admits. What we could be seeing in the galaxy J0437 plus 2456 is one of the black holes in such a pair. 
with the other remaining hidden to our radio observations because of its lack of massa emissions. For now, this discovery is the exciting tip of a proverbial space iceberg, and hopefully future research will be able to pinpoint exactly why such a large black hole is moving so quickly. The oldest black hole in the universe Many celestial bodies in the universe are old, but when scientists in 2017 realized they had found what could be one of the oldest black holes in the universe, they were understandably ecstatic. The black hole, ULAS J1342-0928, has a name just as big as its size. Astronomers were flabbergasted to find that the black hole, located millions of light years away, had a mass that's more than 800 million times larger than that of our Sun. Even more amazingly, the gigantic black hole reached this mass when the universe was only at 5% of its current age. The gargantuan ULAS black hole first came into creation a mere 690 million years after the Big Bang, a very short time in the relative time of the universe. The discovery of such a massive celestial body may teach us more about black holes and their massive sizes. This may shine a light on how the conditions of the early universe changed to what they currently are today. The black hole is also paired with a nearby quasar, and the bright display of light also takes a new record for the furthest discovered quasar. The record used to belong to ULAS J1120-0641 which is a distant 13.04 billion light-years from us and came into existence around 750 million years after the Big Bang. It's believed that at the centre of most, if not all, galaxies lies a supermassive black hole. These black holes are much larger than their standard-sized namesakes and can reach anywhere from millions to billion times the mass of our Sun. Studies in the past have developed the idea that these massive space vacuums create huge displays of light as they devour local stars and other matter. These events are believed to create what we know as quasars, which are some of the brightest objects in the known universe. Because of their incredible brightness, researchers and astronomers are able to pick up and detect quasar activity from some of the farthest points in the known universe meaning they are some of the most distant objects we know that exist. Quasars that are further away are much older in age, and the older and further a quasar is, the longer it takes for the light to travel to Earth. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.